Hi guys, this is your cat here for Eula Updates, back with another entertainment roundup. There's a new Chinese fantasy action drama about people with superpowers. I Am Nobody follows a college boy who gets entangled in a world of outsiders when his grandfather's remains mysteriously disappear. He is suddenly pursued by different factions and also encounters a mysterious girl who calls him her slave. You kind of feel sorry for him at the start. It's the next drama from Yoku now that Legend of Anla is ending and the show just dropped. It was literally announced around 7 a.m. that it's airing at 8 in the morning. I Am Nobody is based on the Chinese comic Under One Person, which was later made into an anime. It stars Peng Yuchang, Ho Minghao, and Wang Yinglu. Bi Wenjun, who's a special star, actually trended because some feel he suddenly looked like Jackie Hung in this drama when he never did before. It's been five years since the Chinese drama about the life of Taiwanese singer Teresa Tang was shot, and it's airing today. It's been almost three decades since the late singer suddenly died while on holiday in Thailand in 1995. She was 42. Her songs are timeless, and it'll be interesting to see Michelle Chen's portrayal of the legendary singer. Will she be singing too? This was Michelle Chen's first drama after giving birth, and her boy is 6 years old now that the drama is finally airing. It also stars Peter Ho, Peng Guan Ying, and Ava Liu. Lost You Forever released the photo shoot with Harper's Bazaar, and the photos of Yang Zi and Zhang Wan Yi are really too pretty for words. Only question here is, where are the rest of the boys? Looking for fans? Tan Jianci and his studio seem to be going above and beyond to promote the drama with so much Jiang Liu. Really like Tan Jianci on variety shows, but never expected he'd be so perfect in this, though it's kinda hard to choose since there's also Jing. Now let's talk about NRTA supposedly having new rules where every series cannot be more than 1800 minutes which, given the cap of 40 episodes, means each episode would be 45 minutes max. No more than that unless it's split into seasons, but the next one can't air until 12 months later. This did not come out of nowhere. It's to combat Zhu Shui Ju, aka dramas injected wood water, which is a metaphor for dramas with fillers, because longer airtime equals more ads equals more profit, and it just sacrifices quality. So it makes sense they want to fix this. What many don't agree with is how they're fixing it. It's obviously telling people to make shorter dramas, but some long ones are just that good, and the 12 month wait is gonna be a pain. They say this applies to new dramas only, so hopefully Lost You Forever won't be affected. Before all this, the rumor was season 2 will air at the end of the year, but now only time will tell. My Boss, starring Chen Xinxi, Zhang Ruonan, Chen Xiaoyun, and Li Junxian, has wrapped three months of filming on August 4. It's about the founder of a law firm and a rookie lawyer going from colleagues to roommates under one roof, since one has insomnia and the heroine happens to cure him. But living together is not easy. Not only are their living habits completely different, they also have different philosophies when it comes to work. Jiang Yi and Ao Ziyi are both on the acting reality show Hit It Off. They didn't hit it off at first when it seemed he didn't want to be paired with her, but then the two have gone on to have so much chemistry acting together. They are also featured in a photo shoot with child photographer Sheng Sheng who's only 8. Jiang Yi started out as a child actress, ran into legal trouble to leave her agency, and she's back in the public eye. Ao Ziyi is from TF Entertainment, the agency behind TF Boys. They're both quite young in their early 20s. Fans will be happy to know they also have the upcoming historical romance drama Hua Jian Jiu Ren Jian Yue, which wrapped filming last year. Lastly, Idol's Queen card is so popular in China. Everyone's dancing to it. They played it in Keep Running when both Song Yuqi and Minnie were there. Bai Jingting did the dance to celebrate the success of Destin, and Deng Wei to celebrate his success in Lost You Forever. Of course, he's in Fox costume. 
Then there's Huang Bo, celebrating reaching 600 million for the dance film One and Only. He's amazing even though he just learned the steps. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.